what's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having an awkward day. Why? Well, because I pissed my wife off and I've got to fix the situation. So, I normally wouldn't post something like this, but it is related to my aquascaping. So, what I've been doing since I planted every aquatic plant there is, I started tampering with my wife's house plants, uh, growing them immersed. I had success with Devil's Ivy, I had success with Wandering Jew, and my wife had some arrowhead, and I didn't even bother to research it or anything, and I was like, me, I bet it'll, it, it'll be alright, you know, and I just kind of went with it, you, you know, uh, um, overconfident, I guess you could say, um, and uh, here's the result. Oh, God. Ah! Don't do it. Don't try the arrowheads. They're not an emergent plant. It's just, it's not going to work. I mean, it took, it took seconds. I pulled it out, and it just immediately, without the dirt, it was like, I'm calling it quits. I couldn't believe it. You know, and before anyone who's like, because I do know plants well, yes, I can probably bring this back with time. The problem is, is that people who have house plants, they don't really have the patience to want to watch it grow from nothing and come back months and months later. They want a nice plant that's already almost full and that will slowly get larger over time. And just so you know, this is how bad I destroyed it. This was his entire root bottom. And I don't know what the heck was going on, man. I just went in there, and I did ask my wife permission first. I was like, hey, can I have a clipping of that of that arrowhead? And uh, she was like, yeah, because I've been taking clippings from all her plants and been doing great with them. Um, and I just stuck my scissors in there, and I got a hold of something. I clipped it, and I was like, oh, what the heck is this? It's the entire root structure. That's not okay. I started pulling everything out. There was like nothing left. I was like, well, maybe if I get like the stems in there, I can get some roots going. It, it was an epic failure. Okay. So this is advice to all the guys who have been in the hobby and start getting wild ideas to do stuff. Don't screw with your wife's shit. Just don't. And, and if you do, fix it. Fix the problem before she notices it. And it never has to be a conversation. And it was too late. She'd already seen it. So I had to go out, I got a new plant, I'm going to plant it in this container, redo the whole thing, and hopefully she, I, we were supposed to go on a date tonight. And this morning she was just ticked off at me. I mean, I, I, I don't even know. I'm sure it was a bunch of stuff. Anyway, the plant is called Fetonia. Okay, uh, so I'm going to deal with that. First thing is... We're just going to ditch this plant and turn off the wooden helper. Take all my miserable pieces that did not like switching to a new state. Um, and I give you a piece of guy, uh, advice, guys. If, if, if you're married and you screw up, there's a few steps you can take before your wife gets home. One, go into the bathroom that she normally uses and get on your hands and knees and clean behind the toilet. <coughs> extremely well. Get all the dust, all the hair, everything. Scrub the toilet, put a new little blue thingy in there so the water flushes blue, close the shower curtain, clean off the any toothpaste or whatever off the mirror and all of that, light a candle, make the bathroom look great, okay? That's that's your first step, all right? Uh, that, that's for simple solutions. But when, you, when you screw up royally, then, you've, then you, you've got to do the little stuff and fix your problem. In this case, I couldn't fix the problem before she noticed. So I'm down in my basement now because one of my wild hair ideas for my aquariums went horribly wrong, and now I've got to fix the situation. So 
fortunately, I have fertilizers of all kinds, so I've got myself some Osmocote that is for topsoil, organic soil, fertilizers up the wazoo. Here, I'll go ahead and take this out and show you what the plant looks like, so you can see what we're dealing with. And uh, so that's what it looks like. Um, definitely looks better than this, uh, although it did look good yesterday. Um, so anyway, uh, I do know how to pop plants. I do know how to deal with them. My problem was thinking that just literally any plant I get my hands on, I can just turn it into an aquarium plant, and that's not the case. Always do your research. Don't even follow my own advice. I say that on everything. All right, so I'm going to pause this, get this planted in here, show you what I did to get this jump started. Okay, um, you don't want the soil that it comes with when you repot a plant. That's a huge uh, mistake that people make whenever they buy potted plants. You don't keep it in the pot that it came in. You also don't keep the soil that it's attached to. For one thing, you don't know how long it's been in there, but a good indicator is a root structure it has completely wrapped around this. It's already it, it's already done its thing with this soil. It's grabbed everything out of it, and it needs fresh new soil, nutrient rich um, and damp. Uh, so. Yeah, you got to take your time, kind of tapping it, getting the old dirt off, getting fresh dirt in there, okay? And uh, uh, many people don't know this about houseplants. Um, I do. Obviously, what I don't know is not to take an arrowhead plant and shove it in my aquarium. All right, so I'm going to start knocking off all this dirt. We'll get it replanted. We'll put it in there. I'm going to put it back. Maybe we can get a capture of my wife's first reaction when she sees it. If I'm lucky, she'll just smile and walk away. If not, she'll go, and that's why you don't steal my plants and put them in your aquarium. Uh, anyway, all right, uh, I'm gonna pause this. I'll get back to you in, in, in a minute. Uh, wish me luck. Uh, all right, I might as well make it a, a tutorial on a potted plant. Anyway, so I put a small layer of organic soil at the bottom. Now, to acclimate this potted plant to um, its new permanent pot is um, Osmocote. And I do use this in my aquariums also. You just got to shove it uh, deep in the substrate so it doesn't dissolve into the water column. Now, with this, this Osmocote Plus, there is Osmocote and Osmocote Plus. This costs you about... Six ninety nine for a pound of it. It will last years. Um, for about a gallon, you need about that much. And what this is compacted with is uh, lots and lots of nitrogen. I mean, uh, for for plants, that's their number one um, uh, source of food that they love. This has a lot. Of spectrum iron 50% um, but the essentials that what it's going to go through the quickest are in the highest amount so at the bottom here and actually this is a little bit too much got about five or six all right and these will last six months in a potted plant in an aquarium not nearly as long. It'll dissolve within a few months, and that's because it's constantly soaking wet. So, <clears throat> ah, hey, got some of my uh, aquatic tools I can use for a potted plant. I'm just going to mix those around, let them get towards the bottom. All right. Tool. And actually, the root structure on this was so tight I was only able to pull out a few clumps before I realized that it's not ready to let go of this which is okay um, 
So, oh, I need to wet the bottom. Now, this is purified water, okay? I don't use tap water. I add all the nutrients that plants need myself, okay? Yes, some people have mineral-rich tap water. I do not. Mine goes through softener, it's loaded with salt. The plants hate that. Put a little bit in here, get it nice and soggy. This is a tropical plant. It needs high humidity and very damp soil. talking about all right now the new lovely plant I'm gonna stick directly in the center and I'm not done I've still got to get uh, soil crammed in around its sides that uh, sides all the way around till it's in here nice and tight and I'll probably drop a couple more osmocotes in there Anyway, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll see what it looks like when I've got it all hanging, because she did have a hanging structure where it came from the ceiling the whole nine yards. So, anyway, I'm going to pause this. I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, God. Uh. All right, we're back. I got it fully planted, fertilized. Um, I'm going to teach you a trick if you don't already know. Now, this is an empty uh, spray bottle. I, I don't put anything in it other than this. For those of you who don't know, Fish water is actually the best water to feed to any house plants. It is loaded with everything that a plant wants. In fact, when uh, uh, aquascaping started a couple hundred years ago and people were keeping fish, they thought that the water had some kind of uh, properties that led to eternal life because it was so nutrient rich and healthy for plant life and everything around it, you know, and we thought a lot of crazy shit back then, you know, so, I mean, just think about the first person who decided to eat mushrooms, yeah, you know, who who all dove in on that game, you know, we didn't have science, it was, well, I'm hungry, I'm going to eat it, if I survive, now we know, all right, but anyway, so, I'm going <laughs> to fill it up, long story short, they realized quickly that it was not the eternal life of uh, water for humans. Um, that mostly being because it is filled with excrement, okay? Plants are cool with excrement because they can thrive off ammonia. Uh, certain amounts of it, okay? Humans cannot. If you eat your own dump, you're going to be sick. But also in the early 1900s, they thought that, uh, you know, electricity was the source of life and that we could bring the dead back and that it could also cure arthritis. No, you're just electrocuting people. It, it, it doesn't fix anything. Except for jump-starting a heart. Yeah, we got that one figured out. How many times did we electrocute people before we realized that the only purpose that it could really help is re-jumping a heart. So now I'm pouring some in here to get the uh, dry soil wet around it. This plant does need to have soggy soil. It is a, a tropical humid plant so it needs to be misted every day. Also I researched it well um, and it... Alright, here it is. I'm gonna go try to sneak it back up there on the ceiling before she uh, comes out of her room and notices her she already did notice, so what the heck am I even talking about? Anyway, good luck to me. Oh. Never mind. Okay, oh, I'm scared. What happened? What Is do you mean what happened? New? Yeah, it's a br a brand new. I, I, I fixed the problem I created with my dumb idea of trying to turn your arrowhead ivy into an immersed plant. 
I killed the whole thing. So I replaced it with that. Okay. I like it. Do you want to know what it's called? Sure. Fetonia. Okay. All right, it's a tropical plant. It needs to be misted every day. The water of life. Damp water. So if you touch it and it's not wet, it needs to be watered again. Sweet. Where'd you get them? Teals. They had several plants, but I thought this one looked the prettiest and it's not going to grow all crazy. Cool. You okay? Huh? You okay? Oh, yeah. I was just hustling around trying to fix the the, the debacle I created this morning. Okay. I mean, yesterday with that plant. <laughs>Alright, so that's it. Yeah, that was a grand finale. And, uh, yeah, uh, husbands, dudes, boyfriends, whatever, just so you know, when you screw up and you fix the problem, don't expect there to be, like, confetti and like, oh, Jay, look at what you did for me. It's, yeah, good, you did the right thing. Love you. See you later. That's how it goes. Now, if you do absolutely nothing, well, I, you know what, I'll let you test that theory. You screw up, do nothing for a week and see what happens. All right. But anyway, I appreciate you all uh, for watching. I know exactly it wasn't completely about aquariums, but it was aquarium related. And uh, my aquarium hobby got me in trouble. So this is how I fixed that problem. And now you know, if your wife ever buys arrowhead plants, do not try to convert them to emergent plants. It's not going to happen. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And like always, if you're down in the dumps, you're having a bad day, like I was, get up and do something about it. Catch you next time.